So in my previous video, I showed you how to navigate menus easily with the Oculus Touch controls. In this video, I will show you another small tweak I use in addition to the previous ones that will improve it a little bit more. First, you need to download AutoHockey. Just download the AutoHockey installer. It's very simple to install. It's an .exe file. It does everything for you. Next, uh, you need to download my zip file that I uploaded. It'll have the, the script files that you need. Okay, now you should have my zip file, Fallout 4, all the hockey buttons, dot zip, and just extract it wherever you want, or you can open it, and just like drag the files out. Um, so it comes with a DOL file and four AHK files, which are the scripts. Doesn't matter where on the computer it goes, it's just, as long as the DOL file is in the same folder with these other files, then it should work. So these four files, you only need to pick one, and it's whatever button you want to use uh, on the touch control, so A, B, or X, or Y. For this example, I will use the B button. Okay, so now I got my headset on. I'm in my Oculus Home Classic. Um, you don't have to start up Oculus Home and everything. You could just start the script and it should start it for you, but I personally like to make sure Home is running and make sure my controllers are working and everything. So now on my desktop, I am going to open the file, the one that says move around menus with B. And when you do that, it acts as if it's loading, but it's not going to load. So what you need to do is go to your, hit the menu button on the right control, and to exit, it'll say, are you sure? Continue. Wait a second, it'll give another message. There we go. That failed to close, don't worry about that. So now it should be running. If you look on your desktop, you'll see like a green H on the bottom right on your taskbar. So now I am going to run Steam VR. Steam VR, let me go ahead and do the uh, input trick from the last video. Oh yeah, I have a save profile, so left controller. And then right controller, apply, okay. So now I will start up my Fallout 4. All right, so I'm in game, and open the Pip-Boy. And so how this works is if I hold a direction on the left thumbstick, so I'm gonna hold up. And if I hit the B button on my right controller, it'll go up. Right, every time I hit the B button, let's see, B, 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 B. I can also hold the B button and it'll like scroll up really quick like this. Or I hold down and then hold the B button and I'll scroll all the way down. So it just makes like scrolling up and down quicker instead of having to do like thumbstick up, recenter, thumbstick up, recenter. It's just easier to hold the direction and then hit the uh, your button of choice. Like I, I started the B script, so it's the B button right now. Um, it doesn't work for left and right, for, so for like, you know, weapon apparel aid. Not on this screen anyways. Uh, it does, however, works for the uh, the other screen. So like if I wanted to hey. you say the word. trade with Piper. So on this screen, left and right works. So if I hold left and I hit the B button, it'll change uh, categories. Same with right. So it just makes this whole navigating menus and stuff like just a little bit easier. And that's pretty much it. The only thing I've noticed is that with the B button, by default, the B button is uh, the, um, whatchamacallit, fats. So in the Pip-Boy, 
that's button doesn't do anything. However, if you're doing um, workshop stuff in your base, your settlement, uh, the B button will cancel the workshop screen. I'll show you that now. So for the workshop stuff, um, if I hit the B button on this screen, it'll close the workshop. So you're going to want to use like a, a different button like A or X, which by default don't do anything. If you do put it on like A or X, it does work well for the uh, workshop as well. So you can like switch between categories like this, left and right, up and down. And that's basically it. Um, let's see what else. Before people start asking me questions. Oh yeah, if it doesn't work, then make sure uh, the game screen on your desktop is in focus. So like, if it loses focus, it's not going to work. So make sure like if it stops working, just use your mouse on your desktop to click on the below game screen in your monitor. It should work with Dash, it should work with Oculus Home Classic. Um, I don't know about Steam VR Beta, because I don't use Steam VR Beta, and I know the Open VR Input Emulator does not work on the Beta for Steam VR either. So, yeah, I wouldn't use Steam VR Beta. <laughs> and that's about it. Hope this helps.